And hey there guys, it's me Corner Cube Gaming YouTube, and today I'll be showing you the um, a shop I created, um, a scoreboard with scoreboard commands. So yeah, I'm here in my new server. Um, this is the shopping area, and this is a sell shop. And over there is gonna be the buying shops. So for now, I'm gonna show you the sell shop, and it's really simple. So I'm gonna be just get some rotten flesh. And as you can see, I have 370 cash on me. Let me just do score board players remove at s cash 370. Now um, I have zero cash, so slash game mode uh, mode s. And now if I do this, so one run flash. So I have 64. Zero cash, and I have to sell one run of flesh for five cash. So, really simple, just flick the lever. So, I made it so you can spam this, continue getting more money. So, I'm just gonna wait till I get about 100 cash. Okay, that's all I need for now. And I'll remove that run of flesh. <laughs> so, now let's see what happens next. You do not have this item. So I can't do it without the item. So slash game mode C. So I'll show you guys how to do this. So it's really simple. Here's this is where the button is, and here is where the redstone dust is. So redstone dust will link from here, and this is a repeater that's on the last tick delay, and it leads to this command block. And I to put it facing this way, so it's like smaller area. If you guys know what I'm saying. And this has to be on the last tick delay. Just for this to work. So here we have um, a chest for. So it's impulse, unconditional, aids redstone. Chest for block, 8344231, unpowered comparator. So it's testing for this one. And this one will only act, to, it'll test for if it's powered. And it'll only be powered if this command block works. And if this one works, then these one will work too. So yeah, this only works if this one is unpowered. So after that, we would need this block um, right here facing this way, like so, like this. So they would need to be like this, basically. And whoops, you gotta fix that. So if I go here, it's a shop, but just because, um, so it tells you this Basically, it's telling app player you do not have this item, and it's called shop. So shop is telling app player you do not have this item. So yeah, that's simple. And make sure there's nothing behind the shop or something like that, because like it 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 tells it to app player. So um, if you're if someone is buying it over here, someone's over here, it's not good. So um. Next, what you need is this. So um, you need this command block and make sure it's going this way, uh, facing you know a certain way, and make sure they're all linked up like this. And this one is clear at player run flat run underscore flesh zero zero. So it's testing if I have run and flesh in my inventory. And the only the reason the only reason why we have the shop only clear one run and flesh from you at a time is because um, people can abuse the glitch where. It um it clears max like the clear command a max of one basically or like one a uh, max of fifty so if you have one run of flesh then it'll still clear it even if it's as clear at player fifty run of flesh so yeah next you would have a chain conditional always active block right here facing the like this like connected and to clear at player one underscore flesh zero is the type the data one so one round of flesh and it says only 45 because i pressed it 45 times so um yeah next it would after this one works then this one would work basically it keeps going so scoreboard app player cash five so it adds um five cash to the nearest player and then this one title app player action bar successfully sold round of flesh so yeah that's it. You, you you need this um, computer to be straight, like coming out of this one, so make sure you have that. And that's for the sell shop. So next we would have the buy shop. 
So now I have 100 cash and I can go to this one. This is the older version and I don't like it. This is better, more compact, easier to use. So buy two stakes for 100 cash though. And oh, this. Whoops. Okay, there you go. And now that I see, um, so two stakes for 100 cash. If I press the button, it's not gonna work. Not again. So if I go to game, let's see, just, just need to check this out, guys, sorry. It's glitching just a bit. Ah, here it is. There you go, I'm just making sure this is all working out. Now that I have 100 cash, and this is now working, hopefully, because the number can't be too big. So now, there you go, I have two cooked beef. So now that I have that, game mode... S or C. So, or actually, yeah. So now I do, that I don't have a um, hundred cash, I have zero cash. I press it. Purchase failed due to insufficient funds. So that means you don't have enough money. Just let me go fix this really quick. Okay. Okay. Now what you do? I'm gonna show you. So this is a lot more commands, but it's really fairly simple. It's very similar to the other one. So you just need two redstone dust, one from where the button is linked, one here, connecting it to redstone repeaters, which go into different angles. So um, let's do the part where it tells you that it's not working. So um, this makes sure that if you have no money or negative cash, it won't work. So basically, scoreboard players test at player cash negative one. It has to make this the limit. This is um, how low it has to be. And this is how high. So if the if it costs 99, uh, if the cash, yeah, if it, if whatever you're doing costs 99 cash, then what you would put here is 98. So whatever is one less. So this is minimum. This is max. So then you would have a chain conditional always active block coming after that one. Set block and then whatever this is here. Sub block here, um, redstone underscore block. So, yeah. This command block underneath it sets the block immediately to error. So that's fairly simple. Sorry, I'm a bit sick. And um, test for block um, 7624224 to unpowered comparator. So it would test for this one being unpowered. Um, you could also do this one if you want. Um, really, this one did, I guess. Um, but it works. And then, um, after that, it just, it's the same thing as the other one before. So now, time for this one. So this one goes to, yeah. Scoreboard players test at player cash. Um, let's fix that. Let's make it not too much. There you go. Cash 100, and then this is the maximum. This is the minimum. So it's testing if you have at least 100 cash, which is the price. Then it would, um, it, it would if it worked, then this would light up. This would light up, causing it to go to here. So next, you would have test for block 7621422. Actually, it doesn't really matter what you do for this block, but you would want to do it for now. Um, so yeah. So it tests for this one being lit up, or you could just have it not even test. You could just continue to this. So that's what you really wanted, of course. And this one, that means this one would be impulse always active. So what you would do is scoreboard players remove app player cache 100. So it's removing the cache 100 and stuff. So next you would give app player um, beef 2 or whatever you want them to have. And then after that, Title app player successfully purchased two stakes and action bar. Make sure it's action bar and make sure they are all chain conditional always active. Unless you, like I said, you wanted to change it up and yeah. So next you would do this one. Lastly, this is the last part clone negative one, negative one to wherever this one is and make sure negative one has the same exact command because it's going to glitch out a bit if you do not. So, um, scoreboard app player test cash 100 and then, yeah. 
and it's just going to clone this here forever. And yeah, guys, that is the fairly simple way to do the command. Um, I hope I helped. I hope it wasn't too fast. If you need a little help, just comment down below, and I will do my best to help you. And I'll see you guys later. Bye!